Hi, my name is Destiny Soria. I'm director, writer, and star of Christmas Last Year. My production is Lady Destiny's production. Um, how did I get into horror? Why did why do I love horror? What got me to freaking love horror? It was my mom. <laughs> my mom um, raised me to to watch a lot of horror films. Um, my first one when I was that age to go to the theater was uh, watching Freddy Krueger and Beetlejuice. <laughs> Look what I have, Freddy Krueger. So, yeah, she got me into all that. She, I fell in love with it, and and I'm happy that I'm actually making films that are hard. <laughs> what got me into becoming a filmmaker? Um. Just the love, the creativity, the the ideas that I would love to bring to life, which I'm doing. Um, I was an actress first. That was I've been acting for 14 years, and you know I decided like it wasn't cutting for me. I wanna I wanna do some more. I wanna do a lot of horror films. I I wanna get out there, and so I wrote. Christmas last year, I, I've been doing scripts for a while, um, you know, started, I did a lot of skits, silly skits, did a lot of short films, but it was mostly horror related, I, I just absolutely love it, you get to be any character you want, you could be a killer or a screen queen, you could be anything, and you just put it in there, and the stories I had growing up and, and being where I'm at today, I, I had so many bad, um, things and you know the only way you can feel better and let it go is putting it in movies so I, I really loved it I really love being a filmmaker I, I get to open up more and I get to show you what this is all about <laughs> I came up with Christmas Asher 2016 with my family we wanted to do a skit about, you know, Christmas horror, uh, like reindeer attacking everybody and, and turning into like a mutated kind of thing. And so I wrote a little bit. I tried to get my family into it, but it didn't work out. So I just did like a little promo of me walking to abandoned house and just made a silly skit. And then afterwards, say 2016, 2019, I was like, I need to make this happen. <laughs> like, we, I need to go. <laughs> so I wrote the short script. I, I did the short film. And it was, you know, during that time, everybody was like, why don't you just make a feature film? So I decided to make a feature film. So everything that we made for the short film, I just did a proof of concept trailer. Got it funded. Bam, we're here now. Um, it's crazy. It's like a mixture of... Killer Clowns, Outer Space style, with a little bit of the style of the clay animation, um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Nanny Deer. It has nothing to do with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Nanny Deer. It was just the, the style of the clay animation. I kind of wanted something like that. But it didn't have to be perfect. It, it could be funny because I was going for a dark comedy, pr pretty, you know, just making fun of the the idea of, you know, a reindeer killing people and there's clay animation in it. So I wanted a mix of that. And so um, I made a Slasher the Killer Reindeer. He's a new character, and I have a couple other characters that will be presented in the movie. We are hoping to release next year. Of course, clay animation takes a while, so we are very excited. Um, just really happy to make something very funny, very silly, uh, 80s-style cheesy films that... I want to bring back so I'm hoping this is what everybody will love and it'll be a classic a cold classic oh wow good question uh, what has been the most challenging and the most awarding while filming your projects oh, um, yeah I the challenge is to bring the wrong people on board. I had three individuals who defamed me. Um, 
slender my name, um, liber liberally, I can't pronounce words right, liber my name on all social media, and right now I am in the, in the stage of, I just finished a trial, like this morning, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I pretty much have evidence and proof of, of uh, what really happened because they're, they're falsely accusing me of things that never happened. I've never done anything horrible to anybody. And, you know, I have my witnesses. I have my statements. I have me. I have everything that <laughs> is proof that they are lying. And they did. They pretty much took everything off. Uh, once I put one of the video statements up, they literally took everything off and deleted their account and stuff like that. So... Also, the other party, they took their stuff out. So when you post lies and then you get find out, obviously, they deleted everything because they got caught. So <laughs> never lie about somebody thinking that you're going to get away with it and you don't. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy that I'm, I'm winning that they took everything, all those horrible things about me. And what's was sad is they did this when my grandma passed away, like the day my grandma passed away because they couldn't get what they wanted. So, you know, just people are trying to blackmail people. Um, the warding is winning. <laughs> I'm winning uh, all these amazing awards for the poster, the teaser. I'm getting a lot of distributions, very interested in the movie. And um, I'm just winning at their stupidity. So, <laughs> you know, I, I'm winning. That's a good, that's... I'm, I'm getting awarded for winning and, and winning for the teaser and the poster and the script. And I'm very, ar ar I'm very honorable, Sarah, for you to, I'm, gonna cry. I'm not trying to cry, uh, nominate me. I, I appreciate it. I love it. Um, I'm just really happy and really stoked. And, and yeah, that, that was a crazy, I should be writing a book about this because I can't believe I had this happen to me. <laughs> people lying on social media about me then when i put the proof of the post it's on youtube you guys want to check it out i'm doing another one for the other one um when you have proof and stuff of course they're going to delete everything because obviously they lied and they got caught so i got awarded i won that i'm winning on other things and and i'm very honored to to have this happen and I'm very excited to, sh to show you this movie because this is really, really ridiculous, funny movie. And it was funny that everyone thought that I was <laughs> actually had Rudolph in the movie. I'm like, no, I do not have Rudolph in the movie. It's just a reindeer that I made up that's a monster. And <laughs> I finally got him a name. And it's Slasher the Killer Reindeer. And I got two other cool creatures in there. And I, and I can't wait for you guys to see the clay animation. It's going to be hilarious. I know, there's not copying <laughs> the clay animation for that cartoon. It's this the idea of mixing these uh, movies into like an 80s style film. So, um, oh my gosh, my favorite movies, of course, <laughs> Freddy Krueger's, Freddy Krueger's uh, trilogy, um, Killer, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Evil Dead is my, all three of them are my super favorite horror films. Um, I don't have a favorite, yeah, I know, excuse me, um, hmm, something new, I, oh, and Pumpkinhead, I love Pumpkinhead, um, oh, well, hopefully, um, I think what I really want to see is, uh, the new Hellraiser, looks dope, <laughs> with the preachers, the preacher, the preaching, oh my goodness, sorry, my English is not good. Uh, the pre preach it. Oh. Okay, the new he Hellraiser. I really want to see that. I think that'll be my favorite because I do like the Hellraiser trilogy too. And yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for the nomination. I'm really honored and thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate it. Love you, love you, love y'all. Um, I do have two other feature films back to back. Next year I'll be filming one is a werewolf western one and one is a sci-fi. So I'm excited to get on that and ready to go back to filming. <laughs> Bye.